Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, here we are. Now I'm just going to get things set up in just a moment. Just get in my uh, stream inside set up, just so I can see what's going on here exactly. Uh, it's a little bit of a strange system of this sometimes. Like, sometimes it works perfectly, then other times it seems to be some sort of, like, error when you do start it. But, hey, hey it should be alright. Let's get it sorted out in just a moment. For those of you who are in the chat, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are doing good today. What's up there, Ethan? Hello there, Sniper. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you as always. I will be getting started. Yeah, we'll get started about now, man. That sounds fantastic. Okay. So, Water Plant Orange. <laughs> this is always a fun one. I really do like this game. I think it's interesting. I did have somebody ask me the other day. Is it worth it by a war plant orange, or was it uh, worth it to purchase armor brigade? And uh, to be honest, it's one of these things. I think war plant orange is almost like one of Pacific Light. Obviously, it's an older game, but all the mechanics are basically the bar and obviously the uh, late traditions such as like the industry, the R and D, etc. But it's a solid game, solid game, and it's one of these things. It's hard to. It's somewhat hard to recommend it due to the fact that it's um, inferior to Wallen Pacific Animals Edition, but then at the same time, it's something completely different. It has a completely different uh, hypothetical war in here. Well, a completely different uh, time period and a range of time periods, which is really quite interesting. So, then, G Man, how you doing, my friend? Okay, so we are going to be playing. Well, we're going to continue as the USA this time around, the Allied Forces this time around. So I think that'll be rather intriguing, so leave it on the Japanese computer here. We'll go over here up then, and select the Royal Road. I do hope everybody's doing well today. Yeah, I think one of the struggles is, what the hell do I do when I'm not streaming uh, one of the Pacific Animals Edition? It's like, I swear to God, sometimes I just like, okay, I don't even know what I do as a channel besides that anymore, but uh, yeah, I do occasionally do different things. It was either down to this, Warn the East, or possibly Europa Barbarum. But I thought, ah, I might as well continue some of the Warplant Orange, get me some of that uh, Pacific fix in there. And Lone Vert Harkon, how you doing, my friend? Okay. So we were doing relatively well. I think the Japanese landers were really beginning for the most part. So we have seen large landings over here at Apari. We've seen a large landing over here at Loag. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly. Loang? Uh, is it Loang? Loak? Something of that nature. Liang. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Units over here, of course. Now, I don't know if the uh, Japanese are going to be making a push for Lingayan. Hopefully not. We did strike home on, I believe it was one or two of the Japanese battleships. And nothing much more than a single torpedo, but at least the torpedo was hit. And to be honest, at this sort of time period, that's, that's still quite an achievement, really. Okay. So whereabouts are you then? So you're about here then, aren't you? You're really trying to interdict the uh, Japanese landings. But well, to be honest, there's not much I can particularly do there. So we're going we're gonna to tell you to return to Manila for the time being. Have you played Imperator Rome yet? See, I was one of the few, well, I was one of those uh, who did receive a key a few days ago. I've had it, I don't know, how long have I had access to it? I mean, I've had access to it about a week or something of that nature. It's, um, it's okay. It's okay. I like the map the most. The map's rather interesting. I think for me, it's like I might start doing coverage of the game once it probably has had a little bit more polish. It's like, um, I'd like to see more done when it comes to actually uh, the population aspect of it. I don't know. I think some things are a little bit unclear at the moment with the game. You should do a 1v1 and the uh, 1v east. It does not take much time and it's a nice build between the turns between you and THG. See, this is it. It's like I'd like to do something in, like... Um, in the east, such as that. But War of the East 2 isn't that far away. I know it's going to be probably another year development, if not more, but it's relatively close. I think it's one of those things of like, I'd like to do a play by email, but I think I'd probably be happy to wait for perhaps one of these two. Uh, tomorrow, both Imperator and Rule the Waves 2. See, I've heard something about uh, Rule the Waves 2 being delayed, actually. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Oh, so Imperator comes out tomorrow. Okay. Um, I don't know. I might, I might look at Imperator to see what sort of uh, updates there are, really. 
Okay, so we did have Huron, uh, the New Orleans and Albany over here. Now, they've actually been doing remarkably well. They have really tried their best to try and uh, repulse the Japanese invaders of here at the but there's not too much we can do there. We do have aircraft on station. I mean, they are very early talking about, but they're still still capable. They can still help us here in the field. So it's uh, it's one of these. It's it's not worth looking down on them really. Now they're actually running. What is that altitude here? Jeez, seven thousand four hundred anyway. I suppose running at that sort of altitude isn't really required due to the fact that uh, yeah, I don't imagine the AA of this time period is much uh, much of a threat really. So uh, Vince, how you doing, my friend? <laughs> now welcome back, there. Yeah, you can wait. But it's like you are saying at least a year away. Something of that sort of nature. I don't know. I think it's one of these. It's like, I'd like to do another play by email, but I think I'd probably enjoy doing a one of the Pacific one. But of course, I'd like to do a modded one. Or even like something like the Reluctant Admiral, or one of those other scenarios out there. But okay, let's get into things. I've been doing a lot of yapping here. See, I do find it rather intriguing that we have access to the Chinese forces. That, that one's rather amusing. It's not like I have a huge amount of force to get to really use. Indeed, biplanes. Definitely biplanes. So, I do have a Chinese corps over here. Well, two Chinese corps. Uh, cavalry corps over here as well. Yeah, this is an older game. This is from 2005. Okay, attacks to the Chinese military. Yep, as you can imagine. Yeah, these are pretty weak units, aren't they? How is the actual infantry? Uh... Yeah, they're around about the same. They look to be... Yeah, okay. We do have the 15-pounder Krupp guns. We do have some AA and AAMGs, other than that, some combat engineers. So it's not all bad, but they're not entirely, uh, impressive. I can move the 1st Chinese Cavalry Corps, though, so that's not too bad. Indeed, War on the Atlantic would be rather intriguing. Okay, so we've been able to repulse the Chinese, sorry, we've been able to repulse the Japanese from Shanghai. I'd like to send a force to the north over here, actually, or at least to Peking. Oh, to so Beijing, basically. Reinforce that area. Okay. Now we should have the battle cruiser over here. Yep, okay, so we do have repulse over here. Uh, this is set in 1926, so this is a hypothetical war. Basically, you got to imagine it as one of the war plan orange uh, hypothetical wars. And obviously, that this has come about, and uh, yeah, it turned to reality. Okay, so we do have a little bit of this systems damage here on the Campbell, Douglas, and McKay, but that's not too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, no terrible monoplanes, indeed. This is a time before the monoplane, for the most part. I actually don't think there's any monoplanes as such here. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Okay, so we are fully fueled here, we are ready to go. I think what I'm going to do here, then, is I can make full speed. I think speed is something of the essence here at the moment in time, as it would allow me to link up with the um, Albany, the Huron, and I believe it was the New Orleans over here. So we are going to make our way towards Devour at top speed. I think it would be very nice to actually arrive there. And if we could try to implement some sort of strategy here to potentially uh, prevent the fall of the Philippines, that would be very good. Yep, I mean, everything is on sale with the Matrix and Slytherin uh, catalogue, so definitely worth checking out there, that 30% sale. I don't know exactly when it ends, but um, I think there's still some time left. Okay, so I do have some French heavy cruisers over here. We do have some Dutch uh, battleships over here as well. Well, basically, uh, these look... Yeah, these are... Well, some of these are pre-dreadnoughts. I mean, this looks like a pre-dreadnought. Well, actually, no, that's a French heavy cruiser. Yeah, these... Ooh... I suppose you could say pretty dreadnought they look like ironclads or armored cruisers to be honest i mean battleship is very much a dubious term here okay now what do we have here we could do with some additional relief troops to be honest so i do have the first malayan brigade i do have the second malayan brigade i think as far as it goes it's not really going to be a term um I don't think it's going to be really advisable for us to actually send troops here in the long term. I think it's one of these of where we probably want to try and pull out what we can or move forces around where we um, are able to do so. I'd say it's probably going to come down to the naval assets more than anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? See, I was playing... Who was I playing in Imperator? I've been playing as... Um, 
Oh god damn it. Bactria. Yeah, I was playing as uh, Bactria, that's quite interesting. Oh, right, 17th of May's a definite date. Well, that's awesome. I mean, if it is the 17th, then hoorah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say no to that. I mean, I'd like to email her. I need to get in contact with them and uh, get myself a copy of Rule the Waves 2. I'm looking forward to it. I think what I'd probably go ahead and go for is, like, a Battlecruiser doctrine. Uh, Battlecruiser... Yeah, I, I'd like to try and go for something different where it's, like, basically a higher speed, lower armor, but big guns. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but it would be nice to try and give it a go. Okay, so we are making our way out here. Uh, we do have the logistics train over here. We, I mean, I can't imagine there's going to be much of a danger of submarines over here at this moment in time. Right. Are we fully loaded and ready to go? Yes, we are. Okay. So what we're going to do here then is begin to head out for Pearl Harbor. I'm going to need a lot of supply. A lot of fuel as well is definitely going to be needed. But we're going to need this to actually prepare for the uh, campaigns to establish basically control of base one. So how this is going to work is, uh, I suppose it goes for the war plan orange over here. Well, for Warplan Orange here. Yeah. I mean, and well, Iniwatok is going to be our base one. We do have this as a potential option, but I'd say Iniwatok. Now, obviously, we aren't going to see quite the same resistance as we would obviously see in about, uh, well, in just over a decade. Truck is still going to be a hell of a target. And it's going to be a lot of resistance here, but we are going to be looking towards securing Iniwatok. As at least that would give us a point to uh, establish a logistical base there in that area. Now, I do have two battle cruisers. Well, one battle cruiser over here. I think I do have the Australian battle cruiser heading out to meet up with her. Yep, okay, so I have a tanker over here that's heading out. Empire Silver. Yep, and we do have the Australian over here. Uh, over here, she's there in, uh, indefatigable. Well, indefatigable. Well, in, indefatigable. 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 God damn, I forget how you pronounce it now. Right, no battleship games are really fun in Rule the One. Yeah, Rule the Way is one, yeah. Uh, for the most part, yes, for the most part. Uh, Japan versus everybody. Uh, that's rather interesting then. So obviously if you go battle cruisers, then the enemy will go battle cruisers. Well, that's good to know. It's quite interesting, really. I just think it's one of these things. It's like I'd like to go for the all guns forward as well, just to really try and uh, see how that sort of design, flop, well, philosophy could go. God, I can't pronounce things today. You know, when you sort of get like a uh, a fat tongue sometimes. You know, you just can't bloody speak sometimes. Okay, so our destroyers over here are returning to Manila. Obviously, they're going to need a lot of repair. You sure English is your first language? Yeah, unfortunately, it is. It's just sometimes I I don't know what it is. I think it's always the first stream I've done. <laughs> it's always the worst. <laughs> I'll probably warm up. I'll warm up, don't worry. Okay, so we do have plenty of advanced forces over here at Clark. Now, we absolutely need to fortify here. We are fortifying. We don't have a huge amount of men. That's only 3,831 infantry, 13,000 second line. That's about 344 venerable assault value. Over here at Manila, 172, 2100. Uh, we do have a headquarters over here, okay. Uh, base Force Engineers, yep, okay. Philippine Division. Right. I do have the Coastal Defense Guns, which are going to come in extraordinarily handy against uh, any marauding Japanese forces over here. Uh, Batan is really going to be where the stand is uh, going to inevitably take place. I mean, there's only 19 assault value right here. We do have a lot of these Coastal Guns, though. A lot of Coastal Guns. Yeah, all guns forward is a difficult one to go with until you get to the Dreadnoughts era. Possibly, we'll definitely have to give it a go. And can you build any ships in this game? Unfortunately, that sort of mechanic doesn't exist in Warplan Orange. It's something that would come later on. There are different ships, though, of course. So there's a lot of variety, as you would find. Okay, so as far as it goes, I'm pretty much happy with that. We do have you on the way out from there. Uh, we do have... Huron, New Orleans, and Albany, they're going to remain on station here. And in all honesty, they're going to go in for a bombardment. Now, the issue is, what are we looking at in terms of uh, munitions? Right. Yes, uh, we are at 100% ammunition here, that's good. Okay, uh, so we'll go into the next turn. Things are mostly taken by, by themselves here at the moment. We'll see what turns up, then. 
I don't know if it's going to be a misplay Bombard and uh, Devout. I think at the end of the day, it would be nice as at least it might cause some difficulties for the Japanese there. We need to buy time. If I can buy time for the British uh, Repulse to arrive on station outside of Devao, and then obviously if we could allow time for the um, Australian and New Zealand uh, battle cruiser, we could attempt to assemble something of a decent force. Not, it's not particularly going to be like a war-winning force. It'd be nice. And obviously it'd be something that we could potentially use um, as part of a coalition force until like heavy uh, units arrived from the US, obviously from Pearl Harbor, once they arrive there. I mean, of course, this is a thing. It's like, is that even going to be a good idea? I mean, we could try the through ticket to Manila, but even then, that's going to be a very difficult one. We need a lot of troops, far more than we could ever hope to achieve. Uh, so I think what it's going to be is basically we'll allow our heavy units to make it towards Pearl Harbor, and we'll look towards setting up for amphibious operations towards the uh, Mandate Islands. Okay, so S-36 out here. Yeah, we are seeing Japanese destroyers over here. Is there any large targets? No. Okay, well, that's a shame. But at least the submarine is intact. She didn't fire and waste any torpedoes, so that's fine by me. Uh, you can't buy this game on Steam. It is still available on the Matrix store, though, so worth checking out. Okay, so we are seeing here the night bombardment of Wake Island. Yep, so we see the battleship Mutsu and Nagato over here. Uh, what we're seeing here, four heavy cruisers. Some very <laughs> remarkably familiar names over here, isn't there? Yeah, very familiar names. So 182 casualties, three of the guns lost, uh, some of the pole supply has been hit there. Okay, so the Albany, New Orleans and Huron, and they inflict 22 casualties upon the Japanese there, at least two guns lost. I mean, taking out the guns is worthwhile. I'll have to take a look at their munitions, see how much uh, they've expended. We'll go from there, really. Oh, hello, that's a better target. Yep, and hit. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Good hit there. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, S36 is actually doing us a good service there. Right, okay. Fails to find a sub. They did fire on her. Yep, so one torpedo there on the Soyo. Um, and Rouge is on fire. See, we see the battleship Fuji over here. Hmm. Four Japanese ships by Guam. Japanese ships by Wake. I think I might have to send the torpedo bombers to the north, but I suppose the Japanese have succeeded. They've landed their forces at Davao. Uh, the thing is, though, how much supply have they actually unloaded at Davao? If I can hold the city long enough, at least for actual replenishment to arrive, or reinforcements to arrive, that'd be good. Yeah, the 18th Division is a tough old bird, though. So there, Lieutenant Rainbow Slash, how you doing, my friend? You got a new icon. Didn't recognize you at first, there. Yep, so the Japs are bombarding here. So they do have about 10,000 men here. Uh, 58 guns. We did take out two of those guns with the bombardment. Hmm. Kagoshima's expanded there. Yeah, I need to try and figure out if I can actually bring any additional troops. It's, I suppose it's one of these things. Is it worth it to hold on to Mindanao or attempt to hold on to Mindanao? I think um, as far as it goes to Mindanao, it really does depend on whether we can actually hold on to Davao or other naval bases as such. Uh, we need to take a look at what we actually have in Mindanao, whether there are any bases that are uh, capable of rearm or repair of our units. Okay, submarine's headed out over here. Right, so I do have... Yeah, we do actually have a battlecruiser force over here still available to us. Yep, we have two of those. And additional transport. Okay, so we're going to tell those guys to make their way towards Pearl Harbor. The battlecruiser force could actually be very, very handy in something of an um, interdiction campaign in... Yeah, I'd say an interdiction campaign in the Mandate Island. There's always the possibility of using them to potentially, um... Harry... The Japanese uh, merchants. Okay. A couple more battleships over here. These guys are slower. But still worthwhile. Have them dispatched. Yeah, we do have oilers over here as well. Dispatch these guys. There we go. 
Now the troop transports, we are going to need them. Do we actually have anything worth loading here at the moment? So there's nothing here at the moment for us to load. We'll keep them here at uh, this base over here. As once we actually do have assets available, they would come in handy. Okay, so I do have another three heavy cruisers over here. Charlotte class, Charlotte class, uh, St. Louis class. Okay. They're not too bad, actually. I'll form them up into an actual force here for the time being. So we'll go back, so form new task force. Air surface combat. Yeah, their endurance, however, isn't exactly amazing. Hmm. Right. See, Seattle could actually be upgraded in about two months, actually. I don't know what the upgrade would do. But she'd have it. Okay. I mean, in Seattle, we do have supposedly a few troop transports over here. Well, these are cargo ships. Uh, we do have the 3rd US Division over here. Is this actually active and available for me to use? That's going to be the question there. Uh, so what we'll do here then is we'll form up another transport force. Um, amphibious, perhaps? Okay, we'll fold it all into the same one here. I know I'm using tankers in here, so... Actually, are they tankers? Yeah, they are tankers. Okay, so we don't want the tankers in here, of course. If I had an oiler, that'd be great. Oh, we do actually have an auxiliary... So we have an ammunition ship over here, and we have an auxiliary repair ship here. So the Prometheus and the Pyro. However, they're fairly damaged, obviously. Well, I suppose this is it. They're being brought up and made ready. We'll be able to use them in the future, but not right now. Okay, so load troops. So I could load the Field Artillery Regiment over here. Which is still something. That is uh, 33 155mm guns. Other than that, I don't have the ability to uh, load anything else. Now, they're attached to the Knife Corps in Hawaii. Can I have... Right, they're attached to the Knife Corps area. Wow, well, yeah. Uh, that's an expensive unit to transfer the command of. So I can't actually transfer it as of yet. So what we'll do here then is we'll go to our ground forces. Uh, can I take a look at unrestricted? I, I don't think it's actually an option, is it? Oh. That makes things a little bit harder. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. See, I need to figure out which units, which commands are actually unlocked. So, Knife Corps Hawaii is actually available for movement. So, these are Knife Corps area, New Zealand military, French Indochina, yep, okay, Southeast Asia. Right, so they're not actually active as of yet. I do have some Australian forces over here, so, uh, Australian? A uh, Canadian, sorry. So, two Canadian submarines are available there. We'll have them made ready. Okay. Dispatch them to Pearl Harbor. I mean, this is it. Pearl Harbor is really going to be the actual hub for a long time. Really, throughout the entire war, to be honest. Okay, so we have Aurora, Patrician, and Patriot. Uh, from what I know, that's not a bad class. What are we looking at here? So, uh, one, two, three. She's not bad. She's not bad. She's got a decent amount of belt armor. She carries torpedoes, which is, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, she'll do. She'll do. And we'll have them link up with the actual American force in Seattle. Uh, Seattle. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna head out there. Uh, well, actually, I'll tell them to head out there directly. It doesn't seem as if merge is an actual option here. Okay. There we go. Right. A bird class over here. Ah, 
Ah, the Mount McKinley. Now that rings a bell. Yeah, I do feel like we've seen some of these ships beforehand. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I feel like we might have actually sunk her in, uh, in the Pacific campaign. In the play-by-email. Okay. I think for the most part we really are trying to just build up our forces here. Right, they're trying to return home. We're going to tell them not to do that. Okay, they are needed at Auckland. At least at Auckland I can refuel. But we do need to assemble our forces. Right, okay, so Repulse is making her way down here. So she's supported by the Dutch Java. Which is, she's actually a pretty formidable, uh... SOB, to be honest. So we have, yep, okay. Something of a little coalition going on here, but yeah, the repulse is going to be a real, real handy asset. I mean, especially with the 15-inch guns, those are going to come in really handy. Especially if we find ourselves facing some of the older battleships and uh, especially armoured cruisers, that sort of thing. How are we doing on munitions? So we've expended about 13% there, but I mean, yeah, okay. We've used a lot of our main armaments there, so that's, of course, the 8-inch guns. The difficulty, uh, difficulty is going to come down to, like, where do we rearm them? Can I rearm them here? So they're docked up here, so replenish from the port? Oh good, so they can be rearmed here. Well, that's fantastic. Undock. We'll send them to bombard again. Yep, yeah, bombard. Where the hell are the Japanese gone? Oh no, they're here, okay. I was thinking then, Jesus, have the Japanese left, but no, they have not. That's a shame. Right, so bombarded Val. I mean, the thing is, I need these men to hold on. If they can hold on, then we might have a chance. The issue is, there's not a lot of fortifications here. There's not a lot of uh, men here, really. Now, can I find any additional men from elsewhere? That's going to be the question. Um... I don't know if I'm really going to be able to do that. I might be able to transfer some forces from perhaps uh, further north. Right. Do have these base forces over here. Then I was like, going to be uh, terribly handy though, are they? We might as well try and get them out, actually. I do have a couple of aircraft over here. So three of them are ready. One of them is repairing here. See, I don't have any airfields within range of this area here. That's the difficulty. Okay, well, what I can do then for the time being, Ben, is... Uh, do they actually carry anything else? They don't have, like, a reduced loads or anything like that, so I think even if they were on ground attack, they wouldn't really be able to do anything. So we'll leave them just to, right, carry on as they are. I mean, having two hex range is actually pretty good. I mean, that, that is actually pretty good compared to a lot of what we're using here. So I'm not going to complain about that. Okay. And could you guys let me know if the music's loud enough, by the way? Ah, oh, there we go. I think I actually had my headset turned all the way down there. Okay. Hello there, Newhauser. How you doing there, my friends? So, Newhauser, I've been kind of tempted to look at Bolt Action. I don't know if you play Bolt Action, but it looks rather, rather intriguing. The tabletop game. Okay. So, I do have some French destroyers out here. I mean, these guys really do lack on that endurance. 3,000 endurance is probably usable. I could use that. I might have her head out here to beat the Repulse. Yep, we are playing the Allies here today. Okay, what I'm going to do here then is actually uh, have her dispatched. So yes, 3,000 jones. She should actually be able to make it. I'm going to tell her to make her way down to Deval. Hmm. See, this is the issue. The Japanese have actually taken control of this base over here. Not very good news. Okay. No. The game looks pretty good. I know you're a big uh, fan of the models. Honestly, thought you might have been playing it, to be fair. 
see, I'd love to send these Malayan Brigades, but I don't think they'd arrive in time to make a difference. It might be something to bear in mind. I don't know if, if I can actually even transport them, actually. We'll take a look, because it could be a way to use the Dutch, uh, quote-unquote, battleships. So let's see. So I have these two. Okay, load troops. Okay, so I could actually load them. The first and second Malay... I might go ahead and try that. It's a uh, bold move, to be honest. See, the thing is, if I send these guys out alone, they're going to get picked apart. Now, these transports only move about 12 knots here. It could be a decent actual escort for them. Very nice. And they do have some firepower. Well, then again, 11-inch guns, what are we looking at here? 9.4-inch uh, guns, 9.4... Right, 11, that's what I looked at beforehand. Uh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, so the biggest is 11 there. Hmm. Which is still a fair size. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna downplay the fact of an eleven inch gun, it's still a big gun. And even these uh 9.4 inch guns, they're still they're still fairly big. They're still useful, you know what I mean? As they're not gonna be able to stand toe to toe with anything much larger than them. Or really anything really modern. Not to be honest, anything modern at all, or relatively modern. But uh, they could they could probably give destroyers a, uh, some, some issues there, light cruisers some issues. Yeah, see, you're right, Van Neuhauser. It's just, it's one of those things, isn't it? You've, you've got to be able to get into them, really. See, what's intrigued me is the fact that... Um, after speaking to Richard York, uh, he told me that he basically plays at a wargaming club. So I was thinking, hey, might as well give it a go. Probably the best chance I'd ever get to uh, have a go at it, really. I'd like to do something like that. It'd be nice to play a different kind of war game. A different kind of game in general, really. Okay. Yeah, really need... I mean, these bad boys. The South Dakota. Jesus. This is a formidable class here. Hmm... Yeah, definitely some familiar names that I can imagine. <laughs> See, this is nice. We're actually seeing uh, familiar units. Okay, so they're being told to bombard. I'm going to try and uh, bring the Malayan Brigades. I don't think I have much that is actually available, i.e. unrestricted. We are moving the uh, Battlecruiser Force at full speed. I mean, what do we have here is fuel. Right, 294... There's a thousand fuel here. Fourteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. There should be enough fuel over here, like, uh, at uh, ports such as Balapapan. Yeah, plenty of fuel at Balapapan. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Right. So I do have a garrison battalion. Okay, we are building up the fortifications. We are expanding an airfield there. Well, actually creating one. Right. Fortifications, please. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I've lost to him in uh, Fields of Glory too. So I've lost my winning streak there. It was close, but he does have that experience edge. But it, it, it is fun. It is definitely fun playing him in close combat. We're thinking about uh, trying out combat mission, actually, seeing how that could go. Ah, Battlefleet Gothic. I do still wish that they'd add some actual bloody formation buttons. The turrets are interesting, though. I do like the way the turrets play. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the issue with, like, sort of horde races like that in Battlefleet Gothic. See, I find the orcs really hard to deal with. I can deal with most races besides orcs. Because the thing is, like, once the orcs get close, and uh, really they cut down your maneuverability, it's very hard to get away. Okay, so the Allied Naval Force is surprised. Yep, I can bloody well imagine. Uh, these look like battleships, perhaps? Yep, Fuso. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is a knight as well. Okay. Hart and Rizal. Whereabouts are these guys? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hmm.
Yeah, I mean, I know you can play a combat mission in, in real time. Need to see how that actually plays out. So we've agreed to give it a go at some point in the future, actually. Okay. I don't think these uh, DMs even... I think these are destroyer, destroyer escorts. See, this is it. I'm all familiar with the Japanese designations uh, for their ships now. Okay, we know what's gonna happen there. Oh, wow. Okay, that's rather impressive, actually. This is outside Bataan. I didn't think the Japanese would do this. Okay. Uh, well, that's bringing a lot of urgency to the uh, Philippines here. I mean, are they gonna make a landing? Are they gonna bombard Bataan? Are they gonna bombard Manila? This is actually rather interesting. I mean, Fuso has taken two heads, but those two heads are gonna be absolutely nothing. Uh, what do you think of uh, the Steel Division games? See, I'd like to go ahead and try out Steel Division 2. That looks interesting. Okay, what the hell do we have here? Allied and Japanese Task Forces Maneuver. Uh, these look like... Yeah, they look like armoured... Ooh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, she's she's definitely going to go down here. Ah, a Wix class, okay. Hmm. And they do have torpedoes, that's good to know. Okay, I think we know how this battle's gonna turn out. Okay, right. Right, right. Now that is actually pretty interesting. Ah, there we go, so we do see some other familiar names here. <laughs> Right, that's good to know then. So we do see there's actually uh, three Japanese heavy cruisers, or basically... Uh... Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not surprised here. So 176 coastal guns, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Why the hell would you bomb Parbatan? It's just not worth it. I suppose they do inflict a fair amount of casualties there. 498 casualties reported, 19 guns lost. But I mean, look at that. These destroyers are not going to make it out of here. I mean, Setsu has taken 13 hits. Yamashiro, 1. Fuso, 8. Hayuga, 1. Issei, 2. I mean, the battleships have got off fairly lightly. I mean, the Setsu has been hit quite hard. But the thing is, uh, I don't know what caliber of guns she were hit by. But yeah, I cannot see these destroyers make it out of here. I mean, on fire, heavy damage. They're more than likely going to go down. I just don't see why you'd do something like that. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, 9 bombardment over here at Zamboanga. Uh, hmm. Bombardment of Wake, 14 casualties there. Devow from our own. Okay, actually that's pretty good there. 86 casualties reported, 4 guns lost. See, the good news is we can keep on bombarding each night here. Well, each day. Day and night, uh, more or less. For the, um, I, I can imagine the very short term here, because we are going to have to rearm. I don't know what our chances would be against the Japanese heavy cruisers. They might be okay. We do have the Repulse coming. Repulse could deal with that if she's screened effectively. I mean, Repulse could definitely deal with them. If I can link up with Repulse, I can deal with the Japanese raiders as such. Yeah, they're going to go down, unsurprisingly. A lot of casualties there. Yeah, Steel Division 2. It looks interesting. I like that they're, um... I don't know, I suppose innovating on the previous game. Ooh, hello. Good hit there by S37. And I, I don't agree with how the actual company there treats its employees. I think it's rather sickening. But it's one of these of, um... I don't know. I suppose it comes down to, is the game even worth playing? It looks interesting. I mean, I'd give it a go. It might be something uh, to play just on uh, those days you just like, ah, I just want to play something not as serious. Hmm. I'm very surprised that the Japanese did bombard Batanva. 
Right, S37 again, then. I mean, our submarines are doing a good job here. Ah. Uh, ooh, S37 has been hit there. Yep, severe damage yet. Okay. Right, she's on fire. I don't know if she'll make it out of that. Bottoming out of here. Okay, so she can still dive. She may yet live. Yeah, heavy damage there. Yeah, see, the frontline system, I think, is a gimmick. It looks okay, but in reality, it kind of removes a lot of the actual gameplay mechanics. It's just like... I'd like it to be an option. It's one of these things of if you do have a unit hidden that the enemy doesn't know about, it would be nice if the enemy didn't have a giant thing on the map saying, hey, there's something here. Yeah, bombardment attack. The 18th Division is pretty strong there. I don't know. If I could get the Millennium Brigades here, then maybe. Okay, shock attack on Wake Island. Yeah, Wake's gonna go down here, unsurprisingly. Yeah, unsurprising. Hmm. Okay. I need actual men here. It'll take a few days for mobilization to really kick in here. It can't be turned off, yeah. Oh, right, I see. Ah, that's a shame. Right. So we are aware, then. We're definitely aware of Japanese forces out here. See, I have these guys out here, then in an awkward position right now. I'm going to tell them to dock up and, uh, yeah, just, just pray for the most part. Now, where's Repulse? So there's a destroyer. Where the hell's Repulse? Why the fuck is she retired? Ah, God damn it! Must have missed that. Well, okay. That's irritating. Right, make for Devao. Do not retire, please. Is this scenario even winnable for the Japanese? I can imagine it is winnable. I can I can imagine it's um, definitely a hell of a lot more winnable uh, to the degree than, obviously, the uh, Pacific War in our own timeline here. As you imagine here, it's like, there isn't the great carrier battles, as you can imagine. Obviously, uh, aircraft are still fairly early here. So it's very much going to come down to the um, Dreadnoughts. I mean, in this scenario here, I mean, obviously in this hypothetical war, Japan is still very likely to lose. I and mean, when, I'm, when I'm standing at sighted, it's like, yeah, Japan would still probably lose here. It just, there is at least a chance that they might be able to do something, but it would be a long, slow death for Japan either way. I'd imagine uh, 9 out of 10 times, or 9.9 .9 out of 10 times. Yeah, was well, any scenario winnable for the Japanese? <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Yep, I need my troops. I really need those troops. I might as well tell these guys to actually go out there and meet up with them. God, I wish there was... Uh... The one of the uh, Pacific Admirals Edition mechanics here and UI. That'd be nice. Okay. Well, the thing is, it's like Japan... Uh, should Japan have ever gone to war? No, because they couldn't win in either real... Real scenarios here, to be honest. I'd be interested if the uh, British stayed out of it. See, that's it. I mean, obviously, Warplan Orange really did uh, count on... The fact that uh, the US wouldn't really have allies and obviously would fight the war alone. At the end of the day, if you can fight the war alone, then uh, you're pretty good to go, aren't you? Any allies are just a bonus. Okay, Empire Gold still loading fuel up over here. Okay, Australia's heading out now. A couple days out from New Zealand here. I'll see you later, Vince. Have a good one, my friend. 
Yeah, you're not missing, uh, you're not gonna miss that too much, Vince. I mean, this is like grade, grade uh, D content for me. Ah, jeez. Uh, you know when you have your car alarm, it just goes off randomly. Obviously it comes down to like this sort of temperature thing, but jeez, I had my car alarm go off at like 4.30 in the morning, it's just, ugh. I really didn't want to get off, uh, well, get up at that time. Could have done a little bit more. Right, how are we doing over here? Hmm. 23 knots. Right. See, what I'm going to do here then is I'm actually going to assign the French heavy cruisers as well. It is going to reduce their speed. Obviously, they're not going to be moving out too quickly here due to the fact that they bloody come back. I was hoping that they would have been about here by this time. So it's going to be another three, four days before they can even make it to the Philippines. Which is less than ideal. Less than bloody ideal. How is Bhutan doing? I'm still surprised they went for that. And we absolutely need more fortifications here. Absolutely. Yeah, there's some large guns over here. Especially these 14-inch guns. You don't want to get hit by those bad boys. Right, how are these destroyers looking then? We'll form them up into one group. So I do actually have quite a few patrol boats over here. Uh, their speed isn't exactly amazing though, so they're not exactly uh, brilliant. But they could do. Right, Pope has some damage, of course. Uh, so they're docked up here at the moment. Can I take a look at how their repairs could look? Um, hmm. I do need to get these ships out of here, to be honest. Okay. See, this is it. It's... <laughs> I, I need to get them out. I don't think there is a way for them to survive this. So we'll set them up on a transport mission. I need to get them out before the Japanese move in with their actual forces. Um, yeah, we'll move everything here. Everything that we can. If anything survives, I'd be quite happy. Yeah, we get 34 ships out of Manila. I could try to evacuate, but I do need to buy time. Uh, these ships are going to head out for Singapore. Okay, put them on. I mean, there's no threat threshold here, so we'll just have to see and uh, hope for the best there. And the thing is, I know there are Japanese raiders down here now. I could try to make for one of these islands over here. Uh, maybe Cebu? Cebu might be a better option. We'll head down to Cebu first. Right, head to Cebu Island. And there we go. Right. Replenish from the port. I really don't know how they'd stack up against the actual Japanese. I'll have them remain on surface combat for now. And at the end of the day, they are, they are by friendly forces over here, so it's not too bad. We do have these bad boys out here. So at least they do have some aid available to them. Not much, but at least it's something. Hmm. See, I'm trying to think of games now that I'm actually interested in. Hmm. I mean, what is there that's actually coming out that uh, looks good? That's a hard one to think. Right, so I've arrived a bit higher, yeah. I'm going to have these guys head out towards Devour if they can. Or at least to Balapapan. They could probably make it to Balapapan, uh, refuel a uh, Balapapan, move out from there. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of games I'm actually bloody interested in. I don't know really what's coming out. Those torpedo boats are actually pretty impressive on speed there. Right. Okay. Um. 
That's pretty good there, 15 knots, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new close combat, yeah. That's going to be quite good. Of course, there is the Armoured Brigade uh, DLC that's coming out. That should be rather interesting, actually. Okay, God damn it. I don't have any troops to load. So I wish it was still the same mechanics where I could take a look at uh, Unrestricted, etc. Yep, of course, rule the ways, too. I'm going to be good. And it's like with Imperator, it's like... I don't know, I've had a go at it for about a week. I don't know. It's interesting, but I don't know if it's grabbed me as such yet. Yeah, Ultimate Admiral, that'd be a good one. That should be rather intriguing. Alright, uh, I do have additional assets over here. I'm going to try and evacuate these guys to it, Naga. Okay. Have them head towards uh, Cebu. Right. I wish I had more torpedo boats in these waters. They'd be fantastic for that. At Manila. Uh, okay, there's no possibility to create any PT boats here. Not over here either. No, okay. How are the US forces over here then? So the lead elements aren't too far away. Uh, the main force over here then is not too far away. Hmm. Right. Still surprised about that. Still surprised about the bombardment there. Right, okay, so Stuart over here, yeah, she's not in a great shape. S-37 did take uh, some damage there. Hmm. Yep, tell S-37 to return to Middle Earth. S-31 still on the station, though, so that's good. What do we have here in terms of actual battleships? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just torpedo boats would be fantastic. I mean, everybody had torpedo boats. Well, practically everybody had torpedo boats. So it seems like everything that is actually worthwhile is already in a task force. So I do have Chicago at Pearl. Obviously, you're over here at uh, Auckland. It's not like we've missed you, though. San Diego... Yep, and where are these guys? Okay, there's actually a lot of destroyers at San Diego. <sighs> Issue is though, really, destroyers aren't exactly suitable for like long, di like long distance. I think what I'll do though is I'll get them, I'll get them loaded up. I could do with some oilers, however, to have them uh, move alongside. But we'll get them formed up into a force here first of all. Ooh, not you. Ah, uh, seems like they're still being worked up, actually. So, yep, we'll leave them here until they're ready. Just mobilization issues, I'd say. Right. Yeah, those fighters aren't going exactly far, are they? <sighs> See, I don't know if they could handle the Japanese force. So they can't handle it outnumbered in any case. So I can't exactly go out there to meet them. I was hoping they would have the repulse, but it seems that uh, we had them set to retirement on the loud, which is unfortunate. Gonna hope for the best. Hmm. Yeah, Stuart's gone down. Unsurprisingly, really. She was absolutely battered. I mean, that's been it lightly, to be honest. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, I feel bad for actually clicking um, skip here. So we actually do see an air attack over here. It's a bloody shame I uh, skipped that by mistake. We don't actually hit, but that's good to know about. So the Japanese are on their way towards Devalvin, it seems. 
Oh, here we go. Come on. Right, uh, two damage, but... Uh, hmm. I don't know if the uh, Huron New Orleans or Albany can deal with that. Not like they've got a choice here. Yep, Japanese lookout spots. Yep, Allied Naval Forces surprised. Ooh. What's the uh, range here? 20,000 yards, is that? Okay, at least we do have the range here. Did Albany take a hit there? 18,000 yards. See, the issue here is the destroyers. Yep, Huron's taking a hit. Yeah, uh, Huron's a flame here. Hmm. We're definitely outgunned here. They need to get the hell out of there. What's up there, pirate? How you doing, my friend? Well, we do hit... Oh, okay. Well, we've actually caused some damage there to the Kashi. That's Kashai. I'm not happy about the range decrease in here. Right, uh, Kasuga has been hit there. That's good news. It doesn't look like there's anything major. Uh, yeah, the New Orleans has taken a big hit there. A damaging hit. Hmm. Kus uh, Kusuka's taken some damage there. It's a shame that the actual torpedo bombers didn't hit, but at least they may have another chance to come. Right, 13,000 yards. They'll be launching torpedoes at some point soon. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So does America start mass producing ships at the end of this campaign? <laughs> Come on, Albany. I mean, the issue here is that we're surprised we're outnumbered. I think we're outgunned, I'm not entirely sure. The uh, Huron, uh, she might be okay. The New Orleans and Albany, I, I don't really put much faith in. I don't think they can resist this. If we can deal with the actual destroyers, we might stand a chance here. But we are definitely outnumbered. Right, Momo's taking a big hit there. I mean, 13,000 yards here. We need to keep the range out. Right, 10,000 yards. It's not going to be long now before torpedoes are going to be coming into play. Hmm. So, Kasuga. 8 inch guns, or 8 centimeter guns, I should say. That's a good hit. Not so good there. Hmm. And the squadron is taking a pounder, but they are giving it back. I don't know what the state of the Huron is. Yeah, that was a big gun there, the 20 centimeter. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> Ooh, critical damage there. Right, come on, 10,000 yards still. See, see, uh, 20 centimeter gun, that's gonna hurt most. Oof. It looks like New Orleans is taking some punishment here. 
See, at least we are still... We're still by the port of Devout, so we do have somewhere to run to. I don't know if the squadron is going to be wiped out. I think this is going to end um, as something as a draw, unless one of our ships is sunk, or obviously more than one is sunk. It depends, really. I mean, the destroyers have taken damage. I mean, Hinoki seems to be undamaged at this moment in time. I just need to avoid the torpedoes, to be honest. Hmm. And now gunnery seems to be quite good. Yeah, we are hitting consistently. And of course the issue is there. Uh, yeah, three inch guns, six inch guns aren't gonna do a huge amount. I mean these are the secondaries. Right, Momo's taking a hit. Yep, that's very good. See, these secondaries are fantastic in uh in engagements against these destroyers. Ah, uh, there we go. Hinoki uh Yeah, she's taking damage. I think we're coming out of this fairly well. I think even if we do lose the squadron. Ooh, nine thousand yards. Hmm. Severe damage there. That's not good. Yeah, it looks like New Orleans is probably going to go down here. Um, See, Albany and New Orleans, they may be armed with torpedoes. I'm not exactly sure of the armaments here at the moment. Yeah, well, those... It's the 20 centimeter guns aren't really doing the damage here. The 20 centimeter and the 15 centimeter. I don't think New Orleans is going to make it out from this. We might take the Japanese destroyers with us, perhaps. I mean, definitely the Kashai. Yeah, she's not looking good there. Yeah, now Huron's focused on her. That's that's not going to be a good time for Kashai. Very good gunnery here. Good, okay, yeah, we might make it out here. The range is increasing to 16,000 yards now. And the great news here is uh, the destroyers haven't really been able to contribute to the battle. Hmm. AA mount destroyed man. Yeah, see, Albany and New Orleans taking massive, massive hits here. I think Huron could probably fight again, perhaps. Albany and New Orleans? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, explosions below deck. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, task forces break off. Okay, so we don't... Ah, uh, wow, okay. So, Albany there, 9 hits. New Orleans there takes a grand total of 22 hits. She's on fire, but she's not heavily damaged. I think we came out of that as really the victors, to be honest. Especially as it seems like Ishai and uh, Hinoki are probably going to go down. Or at least they're heavily damaged. I don't think they'll be able to contribute much. Uh, we did put 8 shells into Kasuga. We put 5 into the Nishin. Nishin no, well, Nissin. Uh, Adzuma, 3 hits there. Nothing into the SO. Uh, seven into Izizuma. Well, Izizuma, how I pronounce it, yeah. Momo, two hits there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what the damage status is of them. But I think we came off as the victory in that one, to be honest. Right, naval bombardment of uh, Devon. Devon. So I lost an aircraft over here. Uh, Momo's still on fire. Yeah, that's an issue. Uh, what do we have over here then? So S31. Ah, hit. Very good. If I have any aircraft in the Philippines, I could do with bringing them down to uh, Deval, really. Good job there. Very good job. Causing issues to the Japanese, really. 
Yep, I bloody well need a repulse. Maybe repulse could actually deal with those forces. Hmm. To deliver to Takira Deval. I mean, this is it. I don't know if they're going to be able to survive this. Yeah. Oh. See, we need to... Uh, uh, I mean, they've lost nine guns here. It's If I can tank down the Japanese guns, then we do stand a better chance. But I mean, with the Japanese heavy cruisers, there, I don't know how we're going to be able to fight them off. We might be able to rearm. The Japanese can't rearm, of course, so we might be able to win out a battle of attrition. It depends really on the damage to Albany and New Orleans. I mean, I need any sort of reinforcements I can gather, really. I don't think any are really close by. At least we do have the aircraft. That gives us another shot. Another arrow and our quiver really to throw against the Japanese forces there. Uh, but for the most part, it's not a particularly great situation. Yeah, they're still on station here. Looks like the destroyers have been detached. Yeah, so New Orleans. I mean, well, actually, Albany didn't take that much in the way of damage. New Orleans is taking a uh, pounding. She's taking a good old pound in there. See, the thing is, uh, she's only capable of nine knots now. But the thing is, we do we need to fight. We absolutely need to fight here. We can't... There's, there's nowhere to run here, is there? I mean, Huron and... Uh, Albany could get out. Could. Okay, reduce that down. I don't think they need that naval surge. Okay. Right, go to your max altitude if that enables you to uh, have a chance of surviving. So I do have these level bombers over here. What do they actually have? They can carry some bombs. That's that's something. It is something. So I'm going to transfer them. Ugh. Okay. Well, no, I'm actually not going to transfer them. I could have actually had them head down here, but I don't think that'd do me any good. Uh, I'm going to have them transfer to Manila, actually. So head over here to Manila. You're running naval search for me at the moment, to be honest. And you actually do have some decent range, so that's probably the best I can do with them. Okay, so our forces are setting out over here. Yep, the destroyers met them. That's good news. Right, so transfer in the French destroyer here. Okay. We are making full speed for Deval. It's probably better to arrive in force than piecemeal. Right, how are we doing here? We're still loading the troops here. I don't think it's going to be long until they're done. So I do have 6,300 troops of uh, troops aboard here. I think what we might be able to do here is we might be able to get these troops in. If, if Deval falls, which it probably might do, I might be able to have them head over here to Bataan. Or even, yeah, definitely Bataan. Bataan is probably the one that has the, uh, uh, the shot at surviving. If we can actually get additional supply in there. Are they blocked in by the Japanese ships, or can they sneak out? Well, we're going to have to face them in battle. I don't think we'd be able to get out without having to face them. So there's not much of a choice there. Right. Um, yeah, they're on their way down. Hmm. Just have to hope that our actual planes can try and cause some issues there. Definitely need reinforcements. Right. Uh, ship availability. Okay. So we have Argus and Hermes. About three, four months from now. To march around about 67 days. Uh, the British will be coming here in about, uh, about uh, yeah, 128 days. And we'll have some pretty effective ships such as like the Iron Duke. Yeah, I mean, we'll actually have uh, the battle cruisers here. These are really quite good. Yeah, the battle cruiser squadron there that took part in Jutland. Hmm. I need battle cruisers. I don't know. What's the progress of an Australian one? <laughs> they just absolutely want to head in. 
and do that own thing, don't I? Absolutely want to do that own thing. I'm going to tell them their home port is actually... Yeah, it seems they're complaining about range here. They should be able to manage that. No auto disband, patrol, do not retire. Yep, that's what we need. They can make it. I think I might take the New Zealander force actually and get them moving. Uh, what can I manage here in terms of actual... Right, okay. Endurance isn't exactly amazing, but I need these additional forces. If they could make it to Devau... I mean, Devau's a far away place here. So they're going to have to head out towards Rebal first and foremost. So head towards Rebal. Have to take it from there, really. So I do have a tanker. She's fully loaded. I'm going to have her make her way... Uh, I'm going to stay over here to Numea first. From there we're trying to leapfrog. I just need to get any asset out there. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can head to Rebal and uh, that'd be nice. We do have 3,000 units of fuel at Rebal. But if I could actually place some additional there... That'd be nice. Okay. Yep, the American battle cruisers would be very handy. Okay, just gonna have to continue to wait and see how the pain goes, really. Not much uh, we're in the choice of that. Uh, do we have any aircraft nearby, perhaps? Hmm. Yeah, I need two squadrons of uh, torpedo bombers. One of them's at Val, one of them's at uh, Pearl Harbor. San Diego. Mm. Yeah, very far out. I do have some British craft out here. Okay. So what we're going to do here then is I'm going to use the rail lines. Uh, I don't know if we can make it down here to... Uh, uh, let's see. I think these are the rail lines. How far can they make it? Can they make it to Saigon, for example? Not allowed. Could they... Let's see, how far can you go? We'll send them there, then we'll see how far we can go from there. Uh, a few destroyers over there at uh, Bombay. Right, they've loaded. Number 5 squadron. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, if it's available, get it loaded. Right. We do have Dreadnought over here. She needs to get our last in gear. Right. Have you make your way towards Singapore. What's the weather report? Partly cloudy. Rain. Yeah, we might have a chance here. The fact is, we've been able to rearm. I still have... There's only five of them available here. But at least that's still five opportunities. We've been able to rearm here? Actually, no. Have we been able to rearm? Right, now we've rearmed. Okay. So we're in a better position here. Right, undock. I mean, I could keep them docked up, but um, I think we need, if there's any chance, we need to try and uh, push the Japanese out there. Otherwise, we are going to be inevitably shelled in the port, I'd imagine. And that's not going to do us any good. If we're forced back again, we can always retreat back into the vow and wait out until reinforcements arrive, if the Japanese give us the ability to do so. But it's absolutely all about trying to just... I don't know, force the Japanese out through attrition. If I can force them to go through uh, all of their munitions, they'll plow out. Obviously, it's going to take them longer to be able to rearm than it would for me. 
I think we can manage it if we can use all their munitions up. I mean, New Orleans, she's probably going to go down, but at the end of the day, if she can contribute to the battle, then it's worthwhile. I mean, I need my aircraft. If they could actually score a hit, that'd be brilliant. We've knocked out some of the enemy AA. Um, it might have been brought back into service. I mean, some of them was machine guns, really, so I don't know whether they could be replaced uh, at sea. I don't know if the uh, Japanese ships would bring any replacements of that nature. Perhaps they might have been repaired, but ideally not. Ideally, our aircraft will have a slightly easier time and the actual enemy ships are pretty close by, so they're within range. So for the bloody Besson, shall we? Right, S31, what's she up to? Hmm. Oof. That's not looking good. Yeah, that's not looking good. And she'll have to retire to Manila if she survives. No doubt about that one. Right, here we go, round two. So, yep, it looks as if, uh, definitely one destroyer. Or is it two? Or have all the destroyers been peeled off? It, well, not all the destroyers, of course, but it looks like one of the destroyers have been uh, peeled off. Ooh, this range is down to 4,000 yards. This is pretty damn close. Yeah, they're crossing the T here. Oosh. At least we are opening up here. I mean, this is very, very close range here, especially at night as well. Yeah, I'll believe they can hit here. I mean, New Orleans, the issue is with her being a flame, it's not going to help here at night. Yeah, torpedo, yeah. New Orleans is torpedoed there. She's not going to make it out of this battle. But we don't really have much in the way of choice. Yeah, I'll be in second damage fire. Okay, the range is up to 9,000 yards. I mean, New Orleans, she might survive if she can get back into port, but if she survives this battle, she's not really going to be contributing any further. I don't think she'll survive. But we'll see. Okay, Huron's open up, uh, opening up again. Yeah, I mean, this is it. If I can take out the Japanese destroyers, that's going to help me a great deal. And we can definitely do that. We can definitely take care of the destroyers. Ooh, task forces break off. Right. Okay. So, I mean, it was only New Orleans there uh, that took the brunt there. New Orleans, 12 shell hits, 1 torpedo hit, on fire, heavy damage. Uh, Albany, 5 shell hits, Huron didn't take a hit there. Yeah. Wasn't particularly the best case there. New Orleans... Oh, I was about to say, uh, She survived, but she didn't. It seems they weren't targeting the Huron. I can imagine they were targeting the uh, crippled ship. To be honest, I was hoping that we would have had the engagement take place at uh, ranges further than 4,000 yards, but it seems unlikely. Ah, damn it. Our torpedo bombers were unable to locate the target there. That's a shame. We might have another shot. I mean, this is it. Ah, hmm. Well, that's good. This San Maru going down there. I mean, the thing is, do I send Huron out to face him alone? Probably not the greatest idea. They might be able to manage it. Well, she might be able to inflict some damage. But the thing is, if she's outnumbered heavily, it's not going to be a great thing. Okay, no losses. That's fantastic. Can't afford to lose the fortifications. Really can't afford to lose those. Trying to buy time for reinforcements to make it. I mean, once the uh, French, British, Dutch force arrives at Davao, I, I can save it. I mean, I don't know if I could prevent uh, its fall to the Japanese forces on the ground, but we'd have a better chance of actually preventing its capture. I know I can rearm uh, 
lighter caliber guns. I don't think I'd be able to rearm repulse, but I could probably repair the heavy cruisers. Right now, apparently there is a BB there. I'm going to say it's probably the heavy cruiser being misidentified. More than likely. Right. What are they doing? Why Why are they doing this? For fuck's sake. <laughs> I've, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Right, just head out on mission speed for love of fucking Christ. I don't know what their issue is. You will head to the bow. It might be due to the fact they don't think they have enough speed. They should be able to make it. Right, what I'm going to tell them to do then is... Because they, they would have been there probably by now. Okay. Plenty of fuel there at Brunei. Head for Brunei. Right, head to Brunei. Do not retire, for the love of Christ. It's not helping me out here. I think the transports are done. There's a little... Yeah, there's only 30 troops left to load, so another day and then we'll get them heading out. Okay. Hmm. It's not making my life easy that they keep letting go back on orders. Okay. At least they're moving out. I might be uh, just better off having the Australians head to Rabal, to be honest. Uh, they're going to complain, but they'll, they'll be able to make it. We'll have them head somewhere closer then. To be fair, I could have them... Yeah, we'll have them head back to... Well, actually, Brisbane doesn't have a huge amount of fuel. We'll head to Brisbane, refuel there, then head back out. They should have been significantly further along here, but uh, the bloody retirement thing keeps kicking in, which is irritating. The US forces aren't too far away now. And the first loss of supply will be arriving shortly. Yep, uh, submarines are moving out. Okay. Hmm. Right, six of them are available now. So let's take a look then. Yeah, so you've been detached. I mean, Albany's not going to be able to manage this. Huron. She's going to have to. Or do I wait for reinforcement? It's a tough question. I don't think she can fight alone. She's only out well, she does have the torpedoes there, but she's not gonna be able to use them. She does have a fair armament. She does have a decent secondary battery. The six inches are nice. Yeah, she's she's out she's outgunned. Pretty heavily to be honest. So she's just going to have to remain on station, to be honest. There's not much else I can do there. I need the bloody British to arrive. Okay. Another day, another dollar. I mean, the best case scenario here is now the uh, torpedo bombers in Davao actually hits, I don't know, one of the Japanese heavy cruisers. I mean, we are causing them damage. I mean, the thing is, it's like... Um, I don't know. It's a difficult one, really. I mean, with the loss of the New Orleans, I mean, Albany's pretty beaten up. They can do a good job, but they need support. I mean, Huron does have the armor to potentially take a lot of these hits, 
But I suppose when it comes to the larger caliber guns, that's when things start to fall apart. And especially if she's outnumbered. She might be able to fight off, like, the destroyers, but there's a lot of destroyers. There's only one Huron. But she's been put up a good fight. She's been put up a good fight. We'll see what happens now. Bob Barman's attack and devour. See, it looks as though the uh, Japanese have been reinforced at the battle. I'll begin moving some additional troops, the British troops from Singapore. Right, okay. Right, they're actually moving now. Thank bloody Christ. Okay. Right, begin to move out. Ah, man. Um, yeah, I was getting excited about it, but of course it doesn't show the Japanese uh, forces on that. Okay. Follow... Yep, uh, one zero seven zero. Follow that force. Not exactly amazing endurance there either. Hmm. Right, replenish, replenish. These guys, they do have uh, some okay range, so we're gonna have them actually make their way down to Devour if they can make it. Just anything that could make it there would be really, really handy right now. They're heading to Balapapan to actually, uh, refuel. Actually, no, it does look as if the Japanese have retired. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I doubt... I doubt Albany is going to be able to um, survive here. Hmm... The most important thing is that they're resisting. We need to resist. Okay. Uh, how is the Aust uh, Australian force in New Zealand doing? Where the heck are they? Well, they're running low in fuel. <laughs> For the love of God. <laughs> I don't understand where this uh, retirement allowed keeps coming from. I think it's due to the issue of the range there, but they should be able to manage that. Just please stop. You can make that. Yeah, that is getting pretty tight. Why the hell are they on full speed? I was just thinking they're making some amazing progress there. Right, okay, what we're gonna do here then? 
So it seems my forces are in intent on actually causing me a uh, headache here. So we're going to do endurance. Right, you do have supply board. That's fine. I want you to head out. Bound bearish. Do not retire for the love of Christ. Just basically head out there, but at least those battle cruisers could actually uh, take some fuel there. Hello there, Palulu. How you doing there, my friend? Logged in early enough for our live stream. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Playing a bit of Warplan Orange here. Something a little bit different while we wait for THG to get back on the turn. Though, granted, I can't uh, waffle as much. Okay. I just need that force to uh, arrive. Right. Well, there we go. Get that asses in gear. Now, I do have three destroyers over here. One of them is not in exactly great state, but two of those destroyers could be usable. I could have them actually uh, support the Huron. Now... That would be nice. It'd actually give me some sort of a opportunity to actually possibly, possibly, uh, persecute a further action, further battle. But, I mean, with the loss of the Albany of the New Orleans, that, well, I mean, obviously the Albany is still, still afloat. She is pretty heavily damaged right at the moment. I'm falling behind on the replay of the game versus DHG, and now we're into turn 18. Yeah, no. I mean, that really sucks. But uh, don't worry, man. Things get better from there. Better and worse. Better and worse. I've definitely learned a lot since starting the actual campaign there, starting the actual play by email. But the thing is, it's like, I don't mind it. I like learning. And at least the mistakes I make uh, is something that people can learn from. Same way that I've had to learn myself, really. But it makes for fun. It makes for fun, doesn't it, really? Right, and the question is, are we going to see the Japanese heavy cruisers return? Seems not, actually. Well, that's good news. Yeah, see, this is the issue. They've obviously spent a lot of munitions. Right, S31. Oh, I think I forgot to move her, didn't I? Well, they're currently failing to find her anyway, so she survives. Right, another deliberate attack at Devour. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, wow, okay. So they do take a thousand casualties there. We lose three casualties of our own. We knock out a further 11 guns. And we lose one gun ourselves, but the thing is, the uh, fortification has been reduced here. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, 
Oh my god. You've got no choice here, friend. I don't even bloody know why they were on full speed. I must have missed that. But that's fine, at least they'll arrive in good order. <laughs> if they do arrive at all, but they'll arrive. Make sure their home uh, port is Pearl Harbor. Yeah, I can barely tell if these guys are moving. They are moving, they're just taking a very long time. Okay. Well, alas, the actual assets down here are moving. Which is something of the very least. Hmm. The real, uh, well, well, uh, I'll refuel at Brunei. I might leave the French cruisers behind so I can make it to Deval quicker. If I can get a decent force of Devout, then I can I can try and turn around the situation. The Japanese are losing guns, they are taking casualties. The issue is they've reduced the fortifications now. And uh, once they reduce those fortifications to zero, it's it's not gonna be that particularly long before they give in there. Uh it's a difficult one. I'm hoping that the Japanese don't have a huge amount of supplies. That's what I'm really hoping for. But the thing is they did capture a base on Mindanao, so they do, well, they will have supplies on the actual island itself. The question is to, like, how many supplies they actually have, but they will have at least a source of supplies on the island. So it does make things difficult for me. And the Japs could be sporting and just surrender, that'd be fantastic. But at least their heavy cruisers are pulled out, so... I've got that going for me. I don't know what sort of uh, repairs we could enact at a vow, actually. Yeah, bombardment. Hmm. Okay, they've lost another gun. Oh, they're down to uh, what seems to be about 18 guns there, but I'm not entirely sure if... Well, that's actually a very small force that came here. I suppose that would be the Mort Battalion, actually. But we've not had another gun there, so that's good news. I mean, if I can get the Malayan units, the Malayan brigades, into Davao, we could probably save it, or at least make it uh, struggle much longer. But it's one of those of, uh, is it worth it? I mean, what do I gain if I save Mindanao? Not particularly much. I'd be much better off actually having those uh, British forces actually head into, like, Bataan or Manila, or even Clark. Probably Bataan. But then keep up the fight. And what I'm going to do here then is have the Huron, while she is available and still able to do so, I'm going to have her uh, bombard. There's no reason not to, to be honest. Yeah, Albany is taking a lot of punishment. Right, they're not far now from Brunei. So reinforcements aren't too far away. We do have the Dutch, uh, quote-unquote, battleships on their way to. Uh, we do have these men here, just shy of 7,000 men. Right. I can gather... I can gather a small task force here. Okay, these uh, patrol boats are not too bad at all. 
mean, they are very slow though, so I'd rather have them head out in a separate force. I'm going to grab the uh, destroyers. I mean, even Pope. I mean, Pope could possibly be repaired in port. But either way, I think we need to uh, rendezvous with the Huron. If I can get there, give her some support, then we'll be in a much better position there. Okay. Uh, have them on 20% naval surge. Well, 30% at the moment. Enemy's still here. Okay, our submarines have arrived at Balapapan. Replenish the port. Right. Set your home base to Devao. So the issue is with Devao, there's not much fuel here. So it's like I can't make an indefinite stand here. I'm just trying to really fend the Japanese off if I can. It would be nice. Uh, British forces are finally moving now. Right, meet them. Then they can refuel. I mean, our main force here could begin to move out sooner or later. I'm going to need a lot of oilers. Plenty of those bad boys. Do I have anything capable of uh, replenishment? Yeah, I don't think they can. As it's going to have to come down to just uh, plain old tankers then. Um, I should have some islands where I could uh, well unload some fuel. So it's not going to be an easy task. Do I have any tankers here? It doesn't seem as if I have any bloody tankers. We're going to have to wait then for tankers to arrive here. It's not going to be too long until they do. I can refuel up, well, refuel up Pearl, then move out. See, I do have the Gilbert Islands over here, so I could potentially head down there. But obviously I'm not going to be able to refuel there. It's not an easy situation, to be honest. Definitely not an easy situation. But uh, the longer that we resist it, devour the better. Hmm. Yeah, but if I can refuel the repulse force, they could be possibly uh, at devour two days if they move at full speed. At least with a strong force like that. And it's not very, very strong. It's capable of dealing with uh, most forces that the Japanese would send there, such as the raiders. Of course, if they send the battleships, especially the modern battleships, then it's going to be a pretty bad situation. Yeah, there we go. So we knock out another gun. That's worthwhile. Hmm. Right, it's another deliberate attack here at the bow. Hmm. Right, we are holding here. We do lose five guns, the Japanese lose three guns. They only seem to have 22 guns here, but uh, we're not in a great position, but the fortifications do hold, thankfully. I picked up one of the Pacific a couple of days ago and had just read the last paragraph on page 154, the manual when the Singapore bombers went in. Yeah, it sounds about right. 
See, that was the thing. It's like, I assume that uh, reducing the range to zero would mean they wouldn't head out. But yeah, uh, turns out that's not true at all. But hey, I can live with that. Not like I have a choice. I'm not going to be one of those like spoiled brats that like demands and to have a mistake um, overwritten. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, you've taken on a little bit of fuel then, so that's all I need. So they'll go and meet the other force. Uh, these guys can continue to head in towards Pearl. They do have enough fuel now. Okay, so the main body has arrived here at long last. Uh, dock. Refuel. A lot of fuel there. C. I need oilers. I absolutely need oilers. Chicago, she's, yeah, she's undergoing repairs there. <sighs> 4,000 seems to be about, okay, 25 ships is in the max there. Fair enough. Hmm. Was Warplan Orange developed before one of the Pacific? Yes, it was. About uh, four years older. I think it came out 2005. Uh, Warland Pacific Animals edition was 2009, I think it was. Well, I mean, like, Warplant Orange is a um, offshoot of what, the original Warland Pacific, I do believe. Okay, the subs are on the way. Okay, good, we've arrived over here at Brunei. Uh, dock up and replenish. Here we go. Right, I'm going to attach, uh, detach the actual French cruisers here. It'd be great, but they're just not capable of keeping up. So what I'm going to do is tell them to make their way towards uh, Devour anyhow. Uh, the British force there, uh, they've lost a couple of knots. I mean, Repulse has lost some uh, speed there. But yeah, you need to make it to Devour. If I can pick up the Huron and possibly head back to uh, Batan and Manila, then we might be able to form some sort of resistance there. And I've got to be very careful because if I get into a battle with the main body of the Japanese fleet, it's not going to end well. The destroyers are on their way down, which is great. Uh, they're moving at 23 knots for the Pope. Hmm. Right, so we can see a Japanese submarine over here. I'm just going to have to be careful about that. Okay. What do we have at New Mayor? 2,000. Mm. They might be able to make it to Rabal. Okay. I'm going to tell the actual troop transports to head for... I'm going to say... Batan. If I can get additional troops over there to... Uh, really just... If I can help out and fortify the actual base there, that'd be really great. Yeah, level 4 fortifications building up pretty quickly. It's only level 1 fortifications here at Manila. I mean, at the end of the day, it's... Probably going to fall. We'll see. If I could get, like, maybe a month of resistance or two months of resistance. I mean, two months of resistance would be incredible. Uh, but if I can get any sort of resistance out of the Philippines, at least... I mean, what I mean by resistance is if I can slow down and delay the Japanese um, ideally long enough, I could maybe... Maybe take a look at what forces might be available at that point uh, to reinforce something like Bataan. Uh, if I can keep a base open on the Philippines, I might be able to bring the actual Allied fleet here in force in being. And that would give us a lot of options. 
I mean, honestly, that's a very fanciful scenario. I don't think the Japanese are going to allow that. But it's an option, nonetheless. Okay, good, they'll, they've lost another gun. That's what we need. That is exactly what we need. Uh, it might be worthwhile to actually move the bombers potentially to devour. This is it. It's like I could dispatch warships towards the Philippines, but without oil, as they're not going to make it. That would be a very bad situation if they were to run out of fuel. It's going to be in what I call bust, really. Okay, so the battle cruisers have arrived. Now, the Bunker Hill and the Ticonderoga, they do have some pretty admirable endurance there. See, the issue is these destroyers aren't, they're not going to be able to manage it. Just can't make it with destroyers, they just don't have that sort of range. So, I think what we might do here then is... Um... Grab the Saratoga, grab the Lexington. Hmm. So I need the Omaha and the uh, Milwaukee. There we go. How about something else? Let's take a look at endurance. Yeah, nah. Right, one zero three three. Right, I think I got them all. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got four battle cruisers there. And uh, what is that? Five light cruisers. It's not a bad force. Uh, we do need some repair here. So I think what we could do here then is uh, if we wait for our forces to repair. Do we actually have repair abilities here at Pearl Harbor? Yeah, we do. Okay, that's great. Don't ask me how the hell it works. I don't know if I have to disband them or what. Um. 
Right, you have a little bit of damage there. Hmm. Honestly, not entirely sure how it works with repairing this one. Uh, this is set in 1926. I mean, there's an earlier, earlier version. Okay, not long until they arrive. That's very good. Goodbye, another turn. Yeah, I need the uh, American battle cruisers to repair, to be honest. It's like, I could send them out, but they've got a long way to go. And I would very much prefer to send them with some sort of oiler as well. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. It really depends on what we could actually gather. If I could actually establish a base somewhere in the mandate, that'd be great. But the thing is, I need troops. I absolutely need troops here. Uh, how much did uh, history change here? See, I'm not exactly sure what the background here is. I don't know if the Japs broke. And imagine, obviously, with the... Uh, I can imagine the Washington Naval Treaty is obviously... Uh, uh, broken now. Obviously, the escalations. I'm not sure what the background of the scenario is, really. I'm going to be rather interested to see what the Repulse might encounter. She does have some very large guns. Decent speed, decent armor. She can deal with uh, most armored cruisers and probably the heavy uh, cruisers of the Japanese. The Java is a fairly effective light cruiser. The destroyer is obviously going to be there to screen. But if I could link up with a Huron, that's definitely going to help me out. It's all going to be about, it's going to be just entirely about screening the uh, repulse and the repulse's guns do the work. Bob Barman's attack. Okay. Uh, five casualties, eight casualties. Oh wow, Warren herself is a fake. <laughs> yeah, it does sound about right there, there my friend. It does sound about right. That's pretty cool though. Do you ever think you could go back to that game then? I guess the real question is, were the incomplete ships scrapped by it? Were the old ships not scrapped? Um, I don't believe uh, Akagi and Karga are going to be carriers. Not entirely sure. Okay, destroyers are on that way. Yeah, we're moving into the Sulu Sea. further only move in uh, one hex further yeah I think what we'll do then for the time being then is uh, probably yeah just, I guess we'll fall them back in or I guess not never mind carry on as you are then I suppose right hmm plenty of fuel here C, 5,000 fuel. Lots and lots of fuel there. What I need to be doing then is, let's see. Kind of regret moving my uh, transports now. Okay, bugger it.
Right, everything else can go back. Yeah, I'm going to send them back. I know it's silly, but it's like... Um, if I can actually transfer this supply from Manila to Bataan, then at least Bataan has a pretty good chance there. Doesn't look as if there's any limits to the amount of supply, so that's not a bad thing. Bataan has 20,000 units of supply, but I need to get more fuel in. If I could get the fuel in there, then that'd be quite nice. It's only a size one port, but if I could just refuel there, that'd be nice, even if it's very slow. Okay. I'm going to put you back onto bombardment. Right, okay, yeah. Bombarded about. That's fine by me. There we go. Uh, I can't believe I used to be able to handle DOS, and today I can't even manage uh, shirts. <laughs> yeah. I know it's crazy, really, isn't it? I suppose it's one of these things of, like, um, I don't know. Interesting, really. Hmm. I suppose it depends on how willing you are to do it, really. <laughs> like, I'm not very good when it comes to computers. It's like, I can use them, but I don't know much about how they work or how to do special things with them. It's just one of these things where I've just never looked and never had to uh, really bother. There you go, that's nice, 35 casualties. We'll keep that up. I suppose when you actually need to figure out how to do things, then you learn. Right, we might be able to get our British and French ships to devour them. So yeah, if we can get them there, but I do have a decent chance of actually forming something of a uh, nugget of resistance there. See, I have no idea where the Japanese forces are. I can imagine they don't know where I am either. I mean, uh, naval reconnaissance exactly, uh, is not exactly easy at this point in time. Right, deliberate attack. I need Deval to stand, to be honest. Actually, we're still looking good here. That's good, then. Okay, so 26 casualties here, 3 guns lost. I can't really afford to lose the guns here. Um, but it's looking better. If I can keep bombarding the Japanese day in, day out, then that's going to help. It's only chipping away at them, but if we can really prevent them from resting, then that's the main thing. I do if I can burn some of their supply too, that'd be great. Okay. Yep, our forces are heading out here to Pearl. Okay, when do I gain men? 28 days, I'll gain the first US Cav. Um, yeah, plenty of forces in, in India and the US. It doesn't look as if I'm going to receive any uh, reinforcements in the Philippines at all. We might have to bring in some Dutch forces as well, perhaps. But either way, relief isn't far away now. Not far. Huron has put the good fight up. Yep, these uh, submarines have uh, arrived too. So that's very good. There we go, separate them out. Only three of them, but they'll make a difference. If anything is another roadblock and another means of security uh, for the battle. But at least with the destroyers arriving, that's going to give me some additional firepower, some additional... Yeah, we're actually going to look okay. Right, we'll go forward another day. If folks here like this period and genre, I can't recommend the movie The Sand Pebbles highly enough. See, I've never heard of that film, but that sounds really interesting. Look at the amount of, <laughs> amount of submarines moving there towards Wake.
<laughs> See, the thing is, tomorrow, speaking of films, like, uh, I had one of my friends, uh, he's a he's a massive, like, uh, Marvel and just, like, DC fan, just like, he's, he's, he's really into the, like, uh, this sort of, like, comic book sort of stuff, like, he, he likes all that. So he says to me, oh, do you want to come and see the new Avengers film? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, sure. And uh, he says, it'll be at 9 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And then he says to me, okay, you, you know the film's going to be ending about 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, you what? <laughs> it, it's going to be ending when? <laughs> uh, so we'll be seeing that tomorrow night. So it's going to be it's going to be a long one tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know whether I'll get the turn back tomorrow or not. Maybe. If I get the turn back tomorrow... Really not sure if I will, but if I do, I'd like to try and, I don't know, try and get some of the actual turn out there. At least get the re replay out. I mean, at least we can actually see what's going on, you guys get to see what's going on. And that'd be good. Okay, so I should see the repulse there shortly. Uh, set in China in 1927. Actually, sounds really, uh, really interesting. So, what's that film called there? So, The Sand Pebbles, right. Ooh, deliberate attack over here at about. I'll Google that, but I don't forget. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. See, the issue is they've reduced Devao to zero fortification, so... Not in a good way there. I think if we could use a heavy bombardment to try and really push them back, because we are destroying their guns, it's really about destroying their guns. Hmm. Of course, they do have a lot of men. Far more men than I do have. <sighs> but it would help me. We could at least inflict heavier casualties on the Japanese. Okay. Yep, a day out. Okay. Right, what we're gonna do here then, uh... Yeah, Albert is not in great shape. I know she's not in great shape, but she's not going to go far. Yep, yeah, escorts can bombard. Just bombard. Just do it. Reinforcements are on their way to Bataan. Hmm, S36 is in uh, good order. I'd like you to patrol just outside of Bataan. See, does Bataan have mines? Yeah, Bataan has some mines. Only 86 of them, but still. And uh, Manila here with 225 mines. Clark, no mines, of course. As there's no port. Yeah, uh, the Japanese are so far over here. They'll eventually be making their way down. Ah, that's awesome to hear about, guys. Okay, whereabouts are the Australians and the New Zealanders? Okay, they're not too far away now. Yeah, plenty of submarines here. And that's good news, the tanker made it through. Really good news. So I can start to... Yeah, it's actually a pretty big port here as well. At, uh... Port Moresby. Very good. Sorry, uh, Rabal. God damn it. I was looking at that. Yeah, so I can unload that fuel there. That's going to keep them going. That should be doable. Okay, you're over here to Brisbane. Replenish. Head over there to Townsville. <laughs> no, that's very good, man. That's very good. Do hope you're happy together. That's really, uh, really nice to hear about you now. 
Okay, I think we'll go through one more turn here. I think after this I might, uh, I don't know, what am I going to play after this? I might, I don't know. I might take a look at uh, building my Pathfinder character. <laughs> so I've been making a Tengu Oracle. So the Tengu are basically crow people, which I find rather amusing. So I've decided to call my guy 2K2K. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ah, I love the film Zulu. Such a classic. So it's interesting, isn't it, really? Like, what is defined as a classic now? Is it defined by the age of the film? Like, does it have to be uh, so many years old for it to be considered a classic, or is it a classic because it uh, encapsulates some aspect of cinema? And obviously when we all think uh, romance, I mean, obviously Casablanca is brought up quite often. But uh, what would be the other more modern classics as such? Ooh, there we go. Okay, yeah. Uh, Albany did participate there, so we did see the destroyers participate as well. So, 25 casualties. It's... It's just trying to help out there. I mean, Deval isn't looking good. Obviously, the fortifications have been broken. It's not going to be long before the Japanese really push on through and secure it. Yeah, that's where anyone's gone down there. Yeah, deliberate attack at the valve. This is make or break, really. Mm. Oh, we actually did very well there. Okay. Unfortunately, we do lose five guns, but uh, the Japs lost 261 casualties there. We need those fortifications. But if I can keep up the bombardment, it is going to have an impact on the Japanese there. Okay. Yep, so we finally do have a uh, combined allied force here. Very nice. Actually fairly decent now. Very good, very good. And obviously Albany is very uh, heavily damaged, but we could potentially try to get her out of here. Uh, see, the question is, um, fairly large guns. I don't know what sort of, uh, rearm capability I have here. Yeah, it doesn't seem to suggest anything like that. Just replenish what we can from the port then. Just take everything, really. I'm going to move the aircraft out of here. Uh, they must go to Naga. I consider a classic any of the movies that were standard fare for Saturday and Sunday TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the British carry-on films. They're fantastic. Yeah, the New Orleans did eventually go down, unfortunately. Hmm. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the main body then head towards Manila. 
if I can get myself set up at Manila. Uh, we could even run with the Dutch uh, so-called battleships, which are just, they're just basically glorified heavy cruisers, let's be honest. I think we'll make this the last turn, then. <laughs> See, I'd say one of my favourite classics would be... I just, to be honest, it's like I really love the film Jason and the Argonauts. I just think that's amazing. It's such an interesting film. I love that sort of era of cinema. And the stop motion is just incredible. I mean, for them to even pull off that, that that's an incredible achievement. That's, honestly, that is an incredible achievement. That sort of early animation is just amazing. My deliberate attack here at the battle. Yeah, they are holding, but it's not going to be long now. Okay, new troop transports available there. The West Point. Right, so that is all she wrote for today, then, ladies and gentlemen. So I do hope you've enjoyed this. I know I've actually been. Uh, I, I, it's not been the best content for me today, to be honest. I think my uh, ability to commentate has been rather poor today. I warm up, though. Takes a little bit of time, but I do warm up. Love Jason and the skeleton scene. Oh, yeah, the skeletons are freaking awesome. Love that. I love the Cyclops. Some fantastic comments here today, so it's been really awesome. This is what I love about uh, live streaming versus of recording. Is that if I was recording this, I'd probably be a hell of a lot, uh, well, I'd be very bored, I'd imagine. But yeah, being able to do these things live and talk to you fine fellows is amazing. I love that aspect. And it, it really does make my day. So I'd like to say thank you all uh, for watching, and I'd love to see you guys again in the future. And if you have enjoyed this, please do consider supporting myself on the channel. There are a number of ways to do this through Patreon, PayPal, and uh, coming up soon. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days actually is when they're available is I will be um, releasing a video detailing like how to order prints and what they're going to look like. Uh, I've got a new version coming. Hopefully you guys will like that. At the end of the day, it's like, it's one of these things. It's, it's all well and good to support somebody, but if you can get something back for it, then that's awesome. And at the end of the day, it's like, it's incredible receiving any sort of support from you guys. But, I don't know. It's one of these things of, I'd like to give you something back. I'd like you to get something for it, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm just taking your money and it's like, what the hell am I giving you? But I. I'll definitely check out the Sand Pebbles. Thank you very much for that, Pelulu. Until next time, guys. Thank you so very much. And I shall see you again in the future. Goodbye for now. Have a fantastic evening or day. Until next time, goodbye.